so hello guys we are back again with batch tutorial this time we will be covering an important topic which is cloud watch and cloud watch is actually a very discussed topic in aws so let's start with the definition of cloud watch so what is amazon cloud watch amazon cloud watch is a monitoring service for aws cloud resources and as, as well as application on aws you can collect various matrices collect monitor a log and you can set alarms you can automatically react to changes in aws resources it can be used to monitor your ec2 instances your dynamo db tables your rd rds db instances as well as any log which has been created by your application so this is your basic definition what i will be covering in this tutorial is the basic basic dashboard of cloudwatch which will include alarms events and your logs so to start with i have created one ec2 ins instance so that at least i should have matrices related to this instance right so now i will be going to the cloudwatch so cloudwatch if you if you see first this is this is known as alarm alarm is i am i am going to create an alarm so these are my various matrices which are defined they are ebs storage matrices ec2 instance matrices and sns your notification services matrices so let's go to your ec2 and and choose cpu utilization so this is the matrix which i am choosing to create the alarm so what it will do save your test set cpu utilization so if your cpu utilization is greater than 90 for consecutive two periods that is for your two minutes if this alarm is insufficient send a test mail send a mail to the notice sns group test which is which include my email id right so very simple we have created an alarm so this alarm is been created so it will send the email id to my it will send the alarm to my email id if my cpu utilization is 90% for more than 2 minutes so this is very simple you can sell you can you can uh, set alarm on your billing that your billing is crossing this limit or this limit this is a very great feature which is event you can direct your lambda your kinesis and your ebs volumes to do particular task on getting the particular event or alarm this is actually a very big topic but i just want to give you an idea that's why i have chosen it so these are your matrices which i am talking about you have storage matrices which include idle time queue length ios write iop and then you have ec2 which include cpu utilization network in out status right then we have sns number of message published number of notification failed so these are the matrices which can be used in cloud cloud watch so this is the basic idea which i just want to give you in cloud watch <coughs> we will try to integrate cloud watch with our auto scaling policy in coming tutorials that's why i shooted this video tutorial because many many people mailed us that they want a tutorial on cloud watch so we are very happy with the response this channel is getting one request is if you have any query just try to put it under comments and please like and subscribe this tutorial because without motivation we are not going anywhere so last example as now my state is insufficient so i am getting this alarm on my email id right so this is how simple this alarm configuration is so keep watching subscribe and keep supporting thanks